Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer. This is going to be the Dwarves versus the Vampire Coast. I'm bringing Grom Brindle and a vanguarding Dwarven angry army. So obviously being led by Grom Brindle. And then back here, because they cannot be vanguard deployed, we have three normal slayers and then one slayer of giant slayers. These are the armor-piercing anti-large slayers, which uh, I think can be very useful against a faction that has like a lot of crabs and big creatures that are very heavily armored. Uh, meanwhile, the normal slayers can do really good work against the units like the Morngals, the animated uh, corpses. I, I think they're called animated corpses because the bloated corpses is the one that suicides itself. I think animated corpses are just like the giant bloated corpses that actually damage people. Anyway, I also have two groups of cannons, which is kind of risky in this build because I'm not going to be leaving anything behind to protect them because I need to be super aggressive against the enemy army here. So I'm just going to leave them totally unprotected there. And that means, you know, Vanguard deployed, Morngals, if there were any, there are not in this one. Uh, and Scurvy Dogs, hell, even Deck Droppers can be very, very dangerous in a build like this if you don't leave anybody to protect. But I was like, you know what, we got to go all in. And the only reason I even took the cannons in an aggressive build like this is... <laughs> Well, actually, you can see some nice uh, explosion. Is for this reason right here, um, that explosion came from this unit over here. We got old Queen Bessie is on the field. And I thought that, you know, since I'm playing dwarves, this may be a pretty, I'd say like an 80% chance you would see a Queen Bess in a fight against, well, maybe that's too high because dwarves can't take it out with cannons. Anyway, I brought the cannons to try and fight Queen Bess. Queen Bess is on the field with the Vampire Counts. The rest of my army, though, currently being destroyed. We have Vanguard deployed miners with Blasting Charges because the Blasting Charges can do really good against almost any of the Vampire Coast units that they can bring. Uh, Death Guard, a little more heavily armored, so not as much to them and their, um crap units but basically everything else the blasting charges can do really good work and then we just have a whole bunch of rangers behind the miners because the rangers are just basic arrows and they have a pretty decent range and they can also counter almost anything the vampire coast brings uh, more specifically if they bring like let's say deck gunners of which there are two including the renowned ones and it's they're really cool uh the renowned ones you know ghostly so they have that ethereal uh, physical resistance of 75 percent but if you have any magic damage on them, they will drop like a fly. Uh, but they also have Discourage ability attached to their ammunition here. You can see minus 16 leadership. Pretty big deal. Not as a big deal to the dwarves with their high leadership, but still a pretty big deal. And their magical damage so they can snipe any other kind of ethereal unit in the game from a very safe distance. I Going against Vampire Coast, do not bring ethereal, ethereal units. Um, although, to be fair, this is, I think, the first time I've ever actually seen someone deploy these. But still, they... They're pretty cool, and also their their shots look really awesome. We're going to be seeing that here soon. Uh, and the second normal de deck dropper over there. The front line is just made up of slightly elite uh, zombie pirate deckhand mobs. I say that because they put money into the chevrons, as you can see there. So they are slightly tankier, just a little bit. There are two depth guard, the vampires, including the renowned unit. We see these a lot because they are pretty good because they have that self buff, which gives them damage reduction resistance as a ward save. So that blocks all damage, 44% of it for 22 seconds, which is very nice. On top of that, they have the hunger and then the rant frenzy ability on top of their really already amazing stats unfortunately i heard that the depth guard were insane before the patch hit like i guess there was a tournament that showed the depth guard in their pre pre patch build and they used to be insane i'm kind of curious what they were even like because even right now people are saying that they're not really worth the cost i'm i i don't know maybe their cost could be lower but maybe 50 or 100 but i think they're kind of well balanced from what i've seen in the game so far but anyway there's two depth guard there queen best then there are also three carronades they are heavy on the artillery here three carronades with queen Bess, the front line there and then they're being led by a generic vampire fleet admiral of the deep with um let's see the accuracy buff these uh crab summon the debuff and the pirate ship uh ability as well and they're unmounted you can't put these on crab mounts which uh also, also pretty cool so that is their army and i had to pause the game instead of running in slow-mo because as you can see we're already into the thick of things because hey we're a vanguard army against queen Bess. so queen Bess is going to be firing you see the deckhands already shooting into our miners right there grom brindle and the slayers are going to be running up as fast as they can to support the front lines luckily that shot missed because with one shot you can see like half of a dwarf unit is gone from one queen Bess shot it is ridiculous if it hits you ridiculous uh, but right now, we're doing one quick salvo into the front line of the zombie pirate deckhand mobs. Woo! Almost took that to the face. Still did a lot of good damage there. Uh, but now, we're going to try and move our rangers up into range of their deck gunners and all of their cannons. And the 
In the back line here, we have our two cannons have moved up a little bit, and now they're in range of shooting best. You can see its health dropping uh, pretty rapidly because we have two cannons going into it. And there we go. The first salvo of the Dwarven blasting charges into the very squishy front line of these zombies. And you can see it is pretty effective because these zombies have almost no armor. Um, so they are just getting torn to pieces. It's not going to do too much against the... Um, the Death Guard, you can see these Death Guard took a full charge to the face, and I mean, it hurt them, but it's not too bad. Oh, there we go. So you can start seeing the shots from the Ethereal. It looks really cool. I really want to show that off. Their ammo is just so sweet. Please fire for us. All right, well, they're a little shy right now. There they go. Yeah, it looks so cool. It's just like, it's, it's like almost like Ethereal water being shot into you, and it... It feels bad because it's, you know, armor piercing and discouraging, but it looks really cool. Anyway, uh, this ranger got into melee because I was trying to have it focus on one of these carronades, so it got a little too close. Uh, this one also did the same, so it's already routing, and also that was the one that got shot by Queen Best. But Queen Best is now destroyed, focused down by the two cannons back there. And unfortunately for my enemy player, I don't think they were actually focusing on my cannons at all. I think their three cannons, like, auto-locked to my miners, and then they did not manage or bother to... <laughs> yeah, it's already over. Uh, they did not bother to retarget to my cannons, so I was able to snipe Queen Bess. Their front line was almost all disintegrated. My Slayers just got there and would have been able to paint the rest. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be... My first video for today was probably already uploaded. This is the second multiplayer video of the day. I only usually upload one, but since this is a really quick one and I wanted to show off the build, I decided, you know, just to put two of these in, in a day. Also, we don't really get to see too much from these. Um, I think they quit a little early, a little early, but I think the writing was also on the wall. My Slayers, again, just arrived there. Grum Brindle was up there. They managed to summon one group of crabs, and that was about it. Uh, but in that very short time, you can see the Death Guard here, the renowned ones, got 38 kills against my miners. Now, miners are not the tankiest of Dwarven troops, but still, that's pretty quickly you get 38 kills. This cannon got 21, which is pretty sweet. And then, like, two shots, Queen Best got 47 kills because it's insane. Uh, and again, the only reason I brought these cannons in the first place was for that reason uh, specifically. Because I knew I wasn't really going to be able to get around to Queen Best pretty quickly. Uh, my Slayers could probably maneuver around there, but it would have taken some time. And man, if you, if I did not have those cannons to shut this down, this could have been maybe a, a very different battle. Because it takes like one shot to cripple a unit. It's a very scary unit and is worth respecting. And I brought 1,600 worth of respect to this battle just to shut it down. That's the only reason I even brought these. Not to counter any kind of like necro effects or anything like that. Just simply for Queen Best. Anyway, uh, good game to Richie there. And since this is so short, I'm going to do a cinematic view. It's a short cinematic view, but I'm going to put a song to it. So I hope you enjoy. Like torches blazed with light. 